And the, the fun never stops, guys. It just doesn't stop. Last night, the 25th in North Korea, was the anniversary of the DPRK's uh, army. And how'd they celebrate? How do you celebrate? Did you go out for some beers? No. They, they did a massive live fire exercise uh, with artillery. Which, I mean, in their defense, U.S., Japan, South Korea, they're, they're doing their own uh, exercises right now. But, it you know, it really makes you wonder, like, what the fuck's going on, you know? There, it, it, how foolish is uh, good old Kimmy boy there? You know, you, you, Trump has said, hey, I've got the armada there. Uh, Haley, Nikki Haley, uh, UN ambassador, she's been like, hey, if they reach for that fucking trigger, we're blowing the shit out of them. Like, I think, you know, that that might be verbatim what she said. All jokes aside, uh, this is getting into to a pretty serious situation. We've got sources that are uh, stating that North Korea has told China that, you know, they've, they've reached the point of no return. There's, there's no way for them to back out uh, at this point. They have to show strength. And you've got Trump, on the other hand, other hand uh, inv- inviting all 100 senators to the White House. Um, which senators go to the White House all the time. It's a, it's a normal thing. But they don't go and meet Rex Tillerson and General Mattis and Nikki Haley you, you know, to discuss <laughs> the, the North Korea situation. Why, you have to ask yourself, why would a meeting like that take place if there wasn't something big that's going to happen right after it? We know that North Korea is going to, you know, test a nuke soon. That you know, our intelligence sh- shows us that. I mean, fuck it. I mean, fuck it. North Korea has stated that they're going to do it. It came right from the horse's mouth. So we know what's going to happen. All right, it's not a secret. And with this meeting, it makes you really wonder like, mm, okay, let's step back a little bit. Jesus Christ, dude. What the fuck? It's like uh, are we dousing ourselves with fire? We don't want this war. Why 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 are we doing it? Like like I get it. Look, you know, the people in North Korea probably suffer a shit ton, and, and Kimmy Boy is this fat bastard who shouldn't be leading a country, and I'd be fine with drone strike in his ass, I, but d- directly engaging in an all-out war with North Korea, you know, with without Chinese approval, oh, man. And by approval, I mean, you know, with the help of the Chinese, because we, there's a, <laughs> there's a good chance, I believe that there's a good chance that China and North Korea... You know, they don't. They don't want America uh, to get a. They don't want a one. Uh, one. Uh, you know, state Korea because that would be a democracy. It would be uh, totally against their government's values, how their governments are set up. So I don't think that they're for a one. One state uh, run Korea. You know, I don't think that you know they're fine with South Korea basically running the whole thing. Uh, China has always used North Korea as a buffer. That's the only reason why. Uh, North Korea has any, uh, you know, I guess, fucking flame in their heart is because they're a buffer between, uh, you know, the capitalist democracy of South Korea, Japan. And that's that's, that's another thing. The Japanese, <laughs> we don't want an all-out war because North Korea can strike the Japanese. They, they, they're they saying, experts are saying it only takes it would only take minutes. Like, the Japanese people would have minutes to react to this, which is extremely scary. Uh, and this, you know, for the, for them, it's uh, for them, for the U.S. service members that are in Japan, U.S. service uh, service members who are in South Korea, the South Korean people, there, this isn't just you know, we can't just strike their nuclear sites and be like, oh, dude, cool, we're done. It, this wouldn't be like the strike on Syria, you know. We if we hit their nuclear sites, they've got miles, hundreds of miles of. Uh, artillery just waiting to rain down on Seoul. Not to mention, not to mention missiles that they could unleash on uh, U.S. forces and the Japanese. Every day, this becomes more and more pressing because it, it looks like the media wants to p- push the American public uh, towards the thoughts of war with North Korea because North Korea doesn't stop, you know, curb their rhetoric because China really hasn't done anything except for stop coal shipments, put some troops on the border, but you don't know, you know, is that to stop refugees? Is that to attack America if they attack North Korea? Is that to attack North Korea if they test another nuke? Every day it gets scarier and scarier, and, uh, you know, it's just something we're, the next couple of days are extremely crucial, and I really think something could, could uh, you know, come to head.